Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Star Ocean 2. We are of course still in the, well let's say the final tower. And where are we? We are at floor number 7. And I think we're just before another boss fight. So in preparation for that, I, I won't say grind a little bit, I walked around a little bit because I was wondering if I was gonna be right about the break item we could have gotten when we reached level 100. So. Claudius at level 100 <laughs> and we got the item but what we got was a break booster it does not break our well limit of damage but apparently it gives us an advantage in breaking the shields on enemies except for enemy leaders so it's still a very good item like I mean really good but it's not the thing that I thought it was going to be I was hoping for it but we'll take it nonetheless also I also thought, well, if we are going to go up against enemies that are going to be really strong, maybe it's time to create some better weapons. So one weapon we got, well, hinted at in the comments by you guys, so I couldn't ignore it. So I did try that and we did make it happen, even though the success rate was quite low. So it did took me a few tries in order to get that, which is the Eterna which launches stars as an additional attack during normal attack. So, sounds incredibly good. And the attack power was higher. And while I was busy with that, I thought for the three characters we are actively using, I thought, let's go play around with that as well. So what I did is, of course, we used the customization just to make better weapons. I checked on which one I had more than one off because that way I wouldn't lose anything unique and for her it was like the super puncher and when we do that I looked for all the items that was yellow because I'm assuming that if it's yellow it means that it could create something unique or better and what came out of it I did it again and again until it was not yellow anymore so I ended up with the Uga puncher plus for priestess and the factor seemed really nice like uh, the lower our HP the more strong she gets with an increase of 15% and max I did the same thing with uh, Ashton and Rena as well so for them I got the did they already equip it? don't tell me I forgot to save that Oh no, I think with uh, Ashton, I, I didn't manage to create something that was actually str Oh wait, here it is, there it is. Mephisto Far. That's the one I made, and I think I made that from Luminous Slicers. I had two of them. And I think I upgraded it two times in order to get to the Mephisto Far. So let's equip it, I forgot about that. And for Rena, and I'm really torn whether or not to re-equip this, because this one has and peak cost reduction by 50% which is really nice considering with the longer drawn out fight she does run out of MP and I ended up with Ampresia plus which does increase our attack power hit rate and crit rate but I lose my MP reduction so I haven't changed it just yet but this is definitely stronger than what she had so that's what I did in between the episodes and of course I distribute as much of the points as I could just to get their base stats up or get better at our uh, item creation so that's where we are right now a long talk bit of a catch-up but uh, let's get straight to the door and see what we find on the other side and hopefully we will not be uh, punished into a bloody uh, pulp we should be fine If you've made it this far, I suppose this means there's only Gabriel and myself left. That's true. You got it. I hope you're ready to join the rest. Hmm. They're dead, are they? <laughs> Everything's according to plan. I knew spreading ourselves out and forcing you to fight us one by one would work. 
Well, he's technically saying that he wanted his teammates to die. Which is really messed up if you think about it. Now, all I have to do is kill Gabriel. And then the universe will be mine alone. That bug-ridden reject is hardly any match for the great Lucifer. Ah, okay. So he wants it all for himself. A universe all by his own making. So you let your friends get killed on purpose? Hmm? Oh my. You're still alive. I couldn't have asked for a better set of pawns. I suppose you deserve some kind of reward for your efforts. So what would you like? Wealth? Power? Hmm? You don't look like you'd be too interested in either. Well, death it is. What use is wealth and power? If you succeed in your plan, the entire universe is going to be destroyed and recreated. We won't be there. So yes, we'll accept that. Don't let your guard down. Very cool. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to be stopped by attack, so let's hope we can take the hit. So far, so good. Ooh, what death? He has insta-kill? Ooh, that's, that, that, that's not nice. Yeah, we're not uh, recovered just yet. Ooh, a very specialized skill. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, I guess we have to go with the full heals here. Damn, he's not letting up. Yeah, let's get the demon back inside the cupboard. We're almost halfway there. Okay, only worked on one right now. Need to get my soul team. Let me help you with her. Oh, it's insanity. And I love it. <laughs> Oh, my uh, mirror attack is a bit long, <laughs> if he just walks away while I'm trying to do it. It really is negating what I'm trying to, pr to do. Come on, just a little bit. I'm so glad that I prepped for that. We couldn't protect ourselves for the insta kills, but I think uh, the extra damage did definitely help. Damn, we still got so many points left. Yeah, he had some beautiful attacks, my man. Really. Go. Let's go, Claude. Right. Yeah, he did well. All right. 
think we are ready for uh, even more than that. I still have in my head that that level 84 is like a courtesy save, but I think we can still get all the way out of here if we wanted to. So let's continue onwards. We have a few floors left. Let's see what we find there. Maybe a few more puzzles? Because enemies itself, they're, they're probably not even gonna try and attack us. Alright, we've got a room that goes down. And a room that is locked. Okay, we need four uniform colors. I don't know what that is. Wonder Drug. A potion of epiphany. Good. Yeah, it does seem that if there's a real puzzle here, then it will take some time. Otherwise, we'll uh, probably get through this pretty uh, quickly now that we uh, have full control over the enemies. I'm guessing we're gonna go all the way down the tower in order to find the switch that will open up the door. And the game is uh, hoping that all these enemies that are still on the floor will be a deterrent for us to get there. Dueling helmet. Recreation gem. Ooh, didn't see you there. Ah, it's okay. We 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 can. Oh wait. Just Oh, there's a like a garbage in the air. I thought, what the hell is he jumping around for? <laughs> More magical cameras. The only threat here we have from the enemies is that I accidentally walk into them. And that's about it. Wow. He was interested in me. chat really now really oh, and of course the instant we get, we lose it we get paralyzed beyond belief yeah, that's uh, totally on me. I, I thought they wouldn't uh, move as much, because usually when they're green, they don't tend to go towards us. So if they do touch us, it's more by accident than on by choice on their side. Ah, it's okay. I have to go uh, all the way back up uh, when we flip the switch, so there will plenty of time to do some fights uh, there and then. Got a statuette, dueling suit, and Smith's hammer. It's almost like the game is giving us a lot of uh, equipment to play around with in uh, using item creation. Wait. Hey, this is the other side of the door. Oh, okay, I thought we went all the way down, but we went up and down and all around. Didn't know about that. But we are still on 8, so we still have two levels left. Oh, what's uh, behind this door, actually? But uh, as prep, I'm gonna make sure we have uh, our 300 points back. So give me like uh, 2 or 3 minutes of fights and uh, I'll be right back. All right. 
Alright, we are ready. I maxed out the points once again and I spent all the new points we have gotten. So, let's see what's behind this door. Could it be already the last uh, wise man? I kinda doubt it because we're not at the top of the tower yet. And there has to be something at the top. We cannot just finish with all the balls before we get there. Unless there is a hidden 11th one. <laughs> Maybe. Let's uh, look around to see what it is. Oh, that does kind of look like the top, doesn't it? And that's definitely the last of the wise men. Alright, we saved, so we should be ready. Alright. Your twisted schemes are all gonna end here. Now I'm gonna take you down, for the sake of our galaxy and to avenge my father. Well, you talk a good game anyway. However, I'm afraid you're too late. The symbol of annihilation is complete. Stop what you're doing now and give up immediately. You can't win, all of the other wise men are dead. You think I'll just give up? I'm the only one left, and why should I care about that? There is no need for anyone else but me. I could have completed it with or without the other wise men. You see, there was really only one person that I needed. And now, dear Philia, I am going to crush these insects and revel in their anguish. Let's enjoy it together. We'll begin this prelude to Armageddon! <laughs> Philia? Wasn't that the prophet's name at Kirkus? Or am I just imagining that? You know, the one that had the cloak on and said that uh, we had to go because something bad was gonna happen? Hmm. Is it a coincidence? Or is he talking about the same person? No, no, I will be delighted. It, it, it sounds the same, but it's a little bit different. Uh -oh, his magics are coming. Ooh, the power of the star compels you. That one we know. Why? I was made by mankind. Why do you refuse my offer of destruction? Ah, oh, that's his personal spell. Very cool. You will be deleted. Ooh. Very cool moves, but mm, slightly fearful of it. Ow! Yeah, that uh, is very painful. Stop it! Um, pushing all the magic out, oh, that's ridiculous.
Come on. This is ridiculous. Ah, oh, damn. You can take this. Everything ends now. Really, your strongest one? <laughs> oh, damn. He's in a league of his own. It's an actual game over. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. This is gonna... This is gonna take a few tries. Alright. Let's uh, give it all we've got. Yeah, and uh, like I said, he is extremely powerful. Definitely worthy of being a, a final adversary. Alright. I'll see you at our successful try. And after a few tries that we still fail, I will just go back to the title and play around with the equipment a little bit more because we can craft a few more pieces of armor in order to gain better. I'm sure of it. I just have to experiment with it. But if that's the case, then it will take me a little bit longer in order to get there, but we will get there. Mark my words. But for now, let's try a few times, because we got pretty far until he really started to push out the magic more and more and more and more till a ridiculous amount. So yeah. I, th I think we can. Let's go. Now, start battle. Alright, we're back in front of the door again for another attempt. I've done a few since uh, our first one. The second attempt lasted all but 20, between 20 and 30 seconds. I, I just got uh, so incredibly beaten up by him that it wasn't even funny anymore. So I turned to, well, crafting, to using the item creation menu to try and make something that can deal with that. So my first initial instinct was make something that negates all elemental damage. Just create something like that. And I, I've been working around trying to find the right factors and things like that and I just couldn't find it. Nothing that even remotely like negated the elemental damage uh, it was doing on my characters. So I thought, well, we did talk in a few uh, episodes ago when we got the blood armor, like, we should be able to abuse this system, right? Just by creating something that restores HP. Well, in the meantime, since then, I also got other type of blood equipment. I got a blood helm and a blood uh, armor. The armor uh, drains our HP to the point that... Uh, it empties out and we just die because of the loss of HP and we got the MP on the helmet which drains our MP until it's all out and until it's all out we are immune for all damage so I just shifted my focus onto that so for two people cause for some reason Priestess cannot wear it so for her I just gave her a weapon that converts 20 amount of damage inflicted to HP so she can still try to keep her HP up as much as possible on her own with the assistance of Rina. At least long enough to stay alive through the entirety of the fight. But for Ashton and Claude we have well adjusted our equipment a bit. So Claude he has the MP drain uh, on his sword and he has the bloody helmet that will deplete his MP but gains invincibility until it runs out. I also uh, gave him a ring of might, which doubles my attack power, make it almost 5,000 attack. So I should make give him a lot more damage as we are fighting. So hopefully uh, that will last as well. And it also gives us like half effect of the elementals. So it should do half of the uh, damage. So that should also help quite a bit. So I focused a lot on Claude being able to push through this entire fight. Uh, and with, of course, with uh, Ashton, I got the HP drain instead of the MP drain, so I gave him the bloody armor, which uh, takes our HP. But if we are not controlling him, it is very uh, uncertain whether or not he uh, 
makes it through or not because if he doesn't hit he does not get restored so he has to be keep on fighting so yes and other than that uh yeah Rena still the same yes i do have another uh, weapon that's better but i didn't want to change that i didn't know what else to uh, use for that so we are gonna rely a lot on claude and ashton hopefully they can uh, keep fighting until he's down if not, we'll just f figure out another way. But I think with this we have a decent chance. And yes, on what I said before, that I couldn't find a nice factor that would negate all elemental damage. I don't think there is one. I think if we are looking at our equipment, uh, for instance this dueling suit, here's the elemental effectiveness. And that's where we need to find uh, the elemental... Uh, strength or weakness in order to have this fight so i could build more just building around that effect so i can make everybody like no damage against elemental but i thought for now with the bloody helmet and stuff i think we have a decent chance to punch through so let's try that and see how it goes if it doesn't work we can always focus on the elemental uh, reduction to uh, help us get through so Let's uh, try it again and see what happens. I will, if um, possible, uh, click through the message because we've already seen that. Yes. You will be deleted. Yes. Here he comes, starting with his movement set. Like I said, it's all about trying to get him done as quickly as possible. That was the main reason why I gave Claude so, so much attack power. Yeah, and from this on point forward, he becomes, well, danger personified. Really, not even allowed to move because I'm still busy with my set. Really, not even a chance to uh, do anything. The fact that he moves so much around, I think that's the, to the detriment of uh, Ashton. That's why he can't do enough damage to stay afloat. Oh, I hate that uh, when he does that. Maybe we should just focus on doing the other damage cause it uh, helps me move a lot quicker and it still does damage yeah I, I, I can't see anyone doing this without the blood uh, armor protection yes you can negate the elemental damage and that will do a lot yeah it's a bit of a cheesy tactic, I uh, admit that fully, but you don't know how long I've been busy between that first attempt and this attempt. It's like four to five hours just busy with trying to create stuff, leveling up a few uh, a bit, because I'm a few levels higher than I was at the previous attempt, but yeah. He is really, really tough. It's almost insane with how much harder he is compared to the boss we did previous to this but yes all right we got him onward to the next oh yeah this makes me happy yeah 
You are wasting your time. The universe is doomed to extinction regardless. The symbol of annihilation is set to go off upon my death. One way or the other, my goal will come to fruition. Your goal? You can't rule the universe if you destroy it. Rule the universe? Who said I needed to rule the universe? If I cannot reign over it, then destroying everything will suffice just as well. Why? Why are you doing this? You would never understand. Destroying the universe is my life's work. It is the entire purpose of my existence. It is what we were created for. The only thing we were created to do. So they were created? Uh, guys, use the other item, please. What? The symbol of annihilation has been activated. Your doom is inevitable, no matter what you do. Oh, we still have one ace up our sleeve. Reyna, put the symbol of divinity on top of the symbol of annihilation. What are you doing? Hurry up before it's too late. Did it work? No. No. Whoa! What happened? Looks like it's starting. What do you mean? I thought the symbol of divinity would put an end to this. It will. In fact, it's the only thing that can halt the destruction of the universe. Well, what's this shaking then? I think it's getting worse. Don't tell me they need to sacrifice need in order to stop this annihilation. I told you, the symbol of divinity does not destroy the power, but simply diverts it to somewhere else. There are but a few places capable of withstanding a force strong enough to destroy the entire universe. What do you mean? The symbol of divinity has diverted all of the energy to energy need. But can energy need withstand all that? I'm afraid that any trace of its existence will soon disappear. Oh no! Please don't worry. We will use the energy freed by the explosion to teleport you far away from energy need. Expel will be transported from the past to the present as well. That way, you'll finally have everything back. That's not the problem right now. Well, it beats losing the entire universe, doesn't it? The symbol of annihilation was one of the most horrible sins of the Nidians. You don't have to feel sorry for us. Need has existed well beyond its natural life. So long that it had the ability to destroy all of outer space on a whim. No civilization in existence developed more fully than Need. The end of the road has to come sometime. Why didn't you tell us about this? If I had known you were going to sacrifice energy need over this, then I would have done something. Nothing would be able to be done, cause the annihilation would still be activated and something still needed to be done about it. You've always been so kind to us. If you knew the truth, you would have hesitated to act at the moment we needed it the most. That's why we asked Ms. Madison to keep it to herself. Sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. Wait, why don't we just bring everyone on energy need along with us? We can't. There isn't enough energy to transport hundreds of millions of people to expel. Besides, we want to stay with our homeland in its dying moments. We've now realized that when a civilization refuses to evolve, then it loses all reason for its existence. Reyna and Ms. Madison. You will be the last survivors of the Nidian race. I want you to make the best of it. Okay, so at least uh, Shizato and Reyna will also go to Expel. I... I don't... Farewell, everyone. 
This is where we say goodbye. No. It's all right. It's remarkable how serene we feel right now. I'm sure it's because our hearts are finally one with all of yours. Farewell. Please remember what we fought for. We we'll always will. It is actually destroying all of energy need. So much destruction. I know they felt like they deserved it, but it's a very big sacrifice. Time passes. Ah, uh, this world was a lot of fun. Would have been perfect if I could have found the right man, but oh well. <laughs> Is there such a thing, Welch? Really? <laughs> Paper scrap. I don't think I'm on the right track here. Well, I guess it's the hit and miss part of treasure hunting that makes it so exciting after all. Uh, looks like she's back to her old Maybe ways. I'll try delving a little further in. There might be something more interesting waiting for me inside. That's a Nidian symbol you just used. I told you, you can't use anything Nidian anymore. Oh, come on. What's the big deal? It's not like I'm hurting anybody. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> but what if you accidentally used the uh, Annihilation spell? That, that would not be a good thing. No, do it over again the right way. Oh man. Why do you have to be so hard on me? I'm not being hard on you. How many times do I have to tell you? Yeah, I know. Need is way, way more advanced than Expel. And if I use my need knowledge, then it'll disrupt the balance of power on this planet. Blah, blah, blah. Well, if you know all that, then why do you keep doing it? It's just this trivial little thing. It doesn't even matter. No means no. I don't care how trivial it is. No exceptions. Man, I'm not going to make the next academic conference thanks to you. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll still be the smartest one there. What are you running away for? It'll work this time, I promise. That's what you said the last time it didn't work. That was then, Ashton. This is now. The machine I've got this time is absolutely, positively, definitely going to work. I swear. Is he trying to make a machine to separate the dragons from Ashton without killing them? That would be something she tried to do, I'm sure. L listen, I appreciate you looking for a way to get me back to normal, but 
You don't have to do all this for me. Besides, I thought you said you didn't mind Creepy and Weepy. Um, I... I don't mind them. No, but they make things inconvenient sometimes, you know? Inconvenient? How? Ah, uh, Forget it! Anyway, if I can get them off your body without hurting them, then you've got nothing to complain about. Right? Right. <laughs> He'd still miss their friendship, really. No, I guess not. I just don't want it to be so painful. Man up a little. Are you all right, Priestess? Did you get hurt? No, I'm okay. Oh, thank goodness. If anything ever happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. Ashton. <sighs> ah, creepy. Can you at least close your eyes or something when we're like this? Ah, so there's an actual relationship between Priestess and Ashton. So when do you think you'll be back, Claude? Hmm, well, I'll be involved in military exercises in Sector Beta, so probably not for another six months or so. I see. Well, be careful. I'm sorry that I'm always leaving you like this. It's all right. You're just doing your job. Besides, I don't think I'm going to be alone for much longer. Ooh, is Rena pregnant? It's almost like uh, he's reliving his dad's life. Whoa, what? <laughs> Do I have to spell it out for you? By the time you get back, you're going to be a father. Very cute. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That is the end of Star Ocean 2. Yeah, and I know that all these scenes that we got them from uh, our characters and when they are together, it's all based upon how you've played the game. Which characters have you recruited? How well is their friendship with each other? Because if Leon and Princess became a thing, then we would have gotten a scene between them. And if Claude got interested in Celine, instead of uh, Reyna, then we've got a scene of that. So yeah, there are a lot of different end scenes in this game. I think what I've heard from the original, it was about 80 or something, 80 different scenes you could potentially get. And we just get a handful, like uh, five or something like that. So yeah, so, so much. Very interesting. Definitely worth another new game, uh, plus uh, definitely. I am really curious to see what we're gonna get if we uh, do something like that. And next time, next time we're gonna make sure we've done everything before we head to uh, uh, the front line. So we don't miss anything on Expel before we have to go. Ooh. Yeah, I really like this game. It, it does a lot of things really well. The only thing that I don't really like is the last boss. That, that's the only thing. Because we were over leveled, way beyond what the enemies in the level needed. They were all green, we could just wipe them out of the map just by using bodyguard. And even then, we didn't stand even a little bit of a chance to fight the end boss. It was so powerful that I, I needed to use like cheesy tactics in order to get through it. And that's not a good thing. And what is that? Hmm. Don't think I've ever come across uh, a pyramid in the game. Is that an area I've missed? It's definitely not on need. Because I, I definitely flew everywhere there. Is that an expel that I missed? <sighs> hey. 
yeah, the sign art with uh, the old ship. And there's no sign of uh, his dad coming back, is there? So he's definitely permanently dead. Hmm. I wonder if there's an ending where his dad survives, like his dad comes back based upon uh, the action that they did here on uh, Energy Need. Like I said, there's so many different endings, so much thing to play around with. If we make an entirely different composition of a team with all different members, that alone will make the ending so much different already. And if we are being rude to Rina, then Claude will find attraction with somewhere else. So yeah, lots of opportunities to uh, change it up a bit. And lots of things we've learned in this playthrough that we can use for the second one. I do wonder how you break the damage over 9999, cause there was a legendary mission that said we need to do 99,999 damage. There has to be a way to break through that. Hmm, probably something we haven't figured out yet. And if we talk about how will I rate this game, what kind of uh, rating would I give it? I would definitely give this an 8 out of 10. And be very comfortable by giving that number. Is it perfect? Hell no, there are plenty of flaws with it, but it plays so, so smoothly, so well, and it's so fun to play through, then yeah, it deserves more than just uh, an okay. And it earned it. Will I play a new game plus on the channel? Probably not. But I will definitely play one myself, and I will probably then pick Rena to play through it. Just to uh, see how it goes. And I do have plans on streaming on YouTube somewhere in 2024. And this might be a game that I will potentially play on it. Because it's not super long. And it plays really well. So there's not a lot of grinding involved in order to uh, get through it. So it would be a perfect streamable game. But in that regard... There are so, so many games I still want to play. Because the entirety of Breath of Fire series, Wild Arms, Tales of... Uh, all the Sweet Coden uh, games, or Sigoden, depending on how you uh, pronounce that. All Final Fantasies, yeah. Still so many for us uh, to go by. And as always, at the end of a game, you're always more than welcome to give me suggestions uh, on the next one, and I put them on my list. And once we, well, we've gone through all this deluge of RPGs coming out right now, because I'm sure at some point it will slow down, then we can look at the list to see what we're going to pick next. Uh, for now, until the end of the year, if you are watching this upon release, uh, we're going to mainly focus on uh, finishing up the other two secondary series we have. And from January, we're going to start something new. What that is, if you follow the community notes, you probably know already what it is. Let's keep an eye on the channel. Do we get a scene after all the credits? Did I talk at all, fool? Do we see anything? Their adventure, Fantastic Space Odyssey, has just begun. Oh yeah, and I also saw this on uh, Twitter, that this is like an indicator of a follow-up game that was in the Star Ocean 2 universe. A deck on a handheld or something. I don't know, but anything more remade like this, give it to me more than gladly. Because it is done so well. Completion data. Save completion data to carry over certain information when starting a second playthrough of the game. The following new features will be unlocked. The EX Dungeon Maze of Tribulations. The Ending Collection. The Voice Collection. Uh, the Ending Collection will allow any acquired ending to be viewed. There are a total of 99 different endings. Damn, that's a lot of playthroughs. Meaning that they added a couple of more after. <laughs> Uh, the original uh, game. 
the voice connection. The voice connection allows you to listen to voice clips of the party members and the 10 wise men. Only the voices of those characters who stayed with the party until the end of the game will be unlocked. Uh, clear save data, just yeah, let's put it on one. Yes. And we get a star next to it. The star of Star Ocean. Yes, we can. And that's it. I am gonna still um, look a bit more around my play to see if I can find anything else. If there's anything substantial that I can find, I will probably post a few more videos of this, but if not, I will see you on the next series. So until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back on the next one. <laughs> see you then. Bye-bye.